Seeing a beggar on the streets or a train or elsewhere is not a new thing in India. But what if we say that at least a few of them are richer than you think? With a net worth of Rs 7.5 crore, rupees, Harat Jain's earnings from begging are far from meager. His monthly income ranges between Rs 60,000 and Rs 75,000, a substantial sum by any standard. The term beggar often evokes the thoughts of the individuals associated with poverty, facing financial instability, wearing worn, torn attire, and having unkempt hair. However, there are some individuals who have turned begging into a profitable and lucrative profession, taking begging on a new dimension. India, like many other countries, is plagued by the issue of poverty and the presence of beggars on its streets. Beggars are often perceived as destitute individuals who have no other means of survival and rely on the charity of others to make ends meet. However, the story of Bharat Jain, according to a report by Economic Times, the world's richest beggar, challenges this conventional perception and sheds light on the complex dynamics at play in the world of begging. Bharat Jain's journey from humble beginnings to becoming a wealthy beggar is truly extraordinary. Born into a financially constrained family, he was unable to pursue formal education, which limited his prospects of finding stable employment. Despite these obstacles, Farat Jain managed to create a life for himself and his family through his unconventional profession. What sets him apart is not only his ability to accumulate wealth, but also his astute investments in real estate. In a separate report by India Times published in February 2021, Jain owns two apartments valued at R70 Lake each. He owns a valuable two-bedroom flat in Mumbai worth Rs. 1.2 crore and has ventured into real estate with ownership of two shops in Thane that generate a monthly rental income of Rs. 30,000. It is indeed remarkable how Bharat Jain managed to thrive in the world of beggary while simultaneously building a real estate portfolio. His story is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit and his ability to overcome adversity. It is puzzling to comprehend why someone with such considerable wealth would continue to beg on the streets. Bharat Jain can often be spotted at prime locations such as Shatrapati Shivaji Terminus or Azad Maiden, relying on the generosity of strangers to sustain his beggar lifestyle. Within a span of 10 to 12 hours, he manages to collect a staggering Rs. 2,000, 2,500 per day, a feat that many working individuals would struggle to achieve even after toiling long hours. Thanks to the generosity of the people, it's not surprising if people who slog for 10, 12 hours or more in front of a computer system or doing any other job, but fail to make ERs 1,000 or as 2,000 per day, question their choice of profession after this report. Due to financial constraints in childhood, he was unable to pursue formal education. Despite his circumstances, Bharat Jain is a married man with a family that includes his wife, two sons, his brother, and his father. Jain and his family live in a one-ev duplex apartment in Perel. His dedication to ensuring that his children receive an education is commendable, and both of them have successfully completed their studies. This achievement is a testament to Bharat Jain's resilience and his determination to break the cycle of poverty. His other family members operate a stationery store. They consistently advise Jain to stop begging, yet he disregards their counsel and continues with the begging work, despite his substantial wealth and alternative sources of income. Bharat Jain continues to be seen begging on the streets of Mumbai. His choice to persist in this line of work, despite the pleas of his family members, is puzzling. Many argue that his dedication to begging is driven by a combination of habit, the sense of community. He has developed with fellow beggars and the emotional fulfillment he derives from his interactions with people who offer him alms. It is not the first time that this world's richest beggar has created news. His story first appeared in the media in 2015. At that time too, his monthly income was mentioned to be around 70,000. Jane's story keeps surfacing in the media every couple of years. In 2019, a beggar named Burju Chandra Azad died while crossing the railway tracks in Govandi. When the police reached his residence, they found Rs 1.5 lakhs of cash. 
mostly in coins. Further inquiry revealed that Azad had over 8.7 lakhs in bank deposits. Krishna Kumar Giti is another such famous as beggar from Mumbai. He reportedly owns a flat in Nalasapara. Other such rich beggars who keep making it to news headlines are Sarvesha Devi from Patna and Sambhaji Kale from Solapur. These persons have been begging as a professional endeavor and have lakhs of rupees and properties in their names. As a society, it is crucial that we address the underlying issues that drive people to beg in the first place. By providing access to education, skills training, and sustainable employment opportunities, we can power individuals like Bharat Jain to break free from the cycle of poverty and create a better future for themselves and their families.